In this video, we're going to talk about variants in C++. And you can think of a variant as a safer version of a union. So we can still do unions in C++, but a variant is usually going to be a better choice. And you'll notice I'm including variant here. So let's create a variant. So here's a variant of an int double in string. And if you'll remember back, we did an example like this with union with the same values. And I'll call that values. So if I say values is equal to 10, then I can print values is equal to, now uh, we'll say values here. So you'll notice we're getting an error when we try to compile. And the reason for that is when we did our C out, let's see if we can find the specific error so that you can see it. There's no match for operator where the operand types are an O stream and a variant of int double and string. So what that means is it doesn't like to do this. And what we need to do to get that value out is we say get int from values. So get is a function in the standard library. We give it a type and it gets that type out of a variant. So if we run this, or if we compile this and then run it, you can see that we get values as 10. So let's do the same with a double. 83.242, and our string is going to be hello. But here we're going to get a double, and here we're going to get a string. And if you'll remember, this is almost identical to what we were doing with the union example. And you'll see it prints out what we would expect. So what happens if we try to, when that string is in the type, what happens with if we try to get an integer? Notice we get an exception. We get a bad variant access exception because we're trying to get an integer and a string is stored in there. So we get some amount of type safety, although notice it's not compile time type safety. So we'll leave that empty line there. So let's write a function. And the function, one of the things you'll notice is, well, now I have to figure out what type is in there. So that's not super helpful. And I would agree with you. But we can write a function that checks to see what type a variant holds. So if we say, we'll call it check type. Although we're not actually going to return the type, we're just going to print correctly. And it's going to take a variant of int double string. And the function it's going to use is called holds alternative int. Notice we're passing that type int. And this will be true if it holds an int, in which case we'll say and then we'll say get int from v now if it's a double we say it holds alternative double and you'll notice it's passing this in through a template holds a double value, so we're going to get a double. And then here, we're going to check for a string, and we're going to say it holds a string value, get the string. So let's put a forward declaration for this up at the top so that we can use it. At this point, 
it's holding a string. So let's just say check type values. And let's compile this to see that it works. And if we run, we can see that the, it holds a string value of hello. So let's say values is equal. We'll go in reverse order as the, the types as we did before. We'll say pi. And then we'll say value is equal to 7. And each time we'll check the values. What did I say? Just value. So that's 22. That should be values. Okay, so here you can see that it's that function is going to, depending on the type we have, print that type, the, well, it'll print the name, and then also it'll print the value in the correct manner. So that's a quick introduction to variance in C++. There's a lot more we can dig here, but um, the big thing to keep in mind is this is a similar to a union in C, but it's, it has a little more type safety to it.